Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry, I'm kind of hoarse today. Quite a few people have asked me to show them how I do this. Now, I am really, I don't have the focus to paint my own today, so I'm using these plastic ones. About half of the ones I do, I actually paint them myself as I cut too close, of course. Yeah. Okay. I got these wings on Amazon. Now, you can do them like this, or you can peel the thing off and do them without it. Oh boy, apparently I'm not doing very good at cutting today. Huh. And this is the reason why I'm not painting my own stuff today. I'm having a hard time. Yay, narrow divergence. Yay! Okay, so... Where is that line? This is... I should have picked one with a darker line. Oh, I should have just painted my own, but whatever. Live and learn, right? Okay, now, I think that's the one I took it off of already. So I need to take the thing off of this one. Come on. There we go. And I don't like having the pokey bits. <clears throat> they are a, hard, a lot harder to cover. Okay. So, we want them mirror imaged. I'll just stick them down to my mat. Oh, and guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to clean out my cup. Do do do. Some days I wish my brain worked like other people's and other days I don't. Because, I mean, who would I be if I wasn't me? I would be someone else. I don't want to be someone else. I want to be me. Okay. Now, I need to zoom in for you here. There we go. Oh, there we go. So first, I do a little layer. Plain old clear. And push it gently to the sides. But not all the way. But I am on the mat just in case it's the wrong. Not wrong. In case I go too far. And it will involve a bit of trimming. But that's okay. Oh. There's a hair, oh no. There we go. These look more like cicada wings than butterfly wings or dragonfly wings to me. But that's okay. They're pretty anyways. Okay, and I think I've got it right to 
Ooh, the edge. And now I set things on fire. One more spot. There we go. All right. Looks like I need to do a tiny bit more right there. Maybe you can see better if I get closer. Maybe not. gonna work. It may, it may not. Anyways, right to the edge, but not over if I can help it. Hey, like this one's showing up better. I wonder where the other one is. Blurry. Right to the edge. So I usually end up doing both sides. Okay. Now, it's time to cure them. And I have my little light, oops, there we go. Put it on both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is enough to make it so it's not stupid sticky, generally. Hmm. But not this time. Okay, I need to put that under the actual light. Oops. There we go. Let's see if they curl. Sometimes they curl from this. They don't seem to be curling. Woohoo! Oh, there it's cycled up to the higher power. I like this um, light because it has a low heat to high heat setting that really helps with UV res resin that I found. There we go. There's the highest. So it starts at really low and then it goes to medium and then it goes to high and that seems to really make a difference with my resin. I used to use just a little free light that came with it, but that wasn't a very good light and it would take me forever to cure stuff and yeah, no, not so great. Uh, it's pulled away in a couple spots. Oh well, I'll fix that after I do the other side. Three, two, one, off. Alright. thing. Okay, so time to take these and peel them off with the sticky and flip them over. I try very hard not to touch these things because I'm not wearing gloves for videos. I actually hate gloves, but I wear them anyways because, yeah, I don't really want resin toxicity. Nope, not me, not really. No. Do it again. And you don't need a ton. Just enough. Get all the way to the edge. And you may have noticed I'm doing a whole lot more pushing than I am of actually painting. 
I found this way. I don't generally get hairs in my or, um, yeah, hairs, bristles. I don't normally get bristles in my resin when I do it this way. Sorry for anyone who doesn't like mouth noises, I kind of need to stim. It doesn't work well if I don't. Okay. Now are both of those leveled? They look pretty leveled. This stuff is quite good for self-leveling. I think I need a tiny bit more on that side. And F you bubble. There we go. There we go. Oh, nope, not quite. Grr. There we go. That's better. Let's see, I missed a little bit over there. And there it goes, leveling. Oh, I need a bubble. Eek. There. Alright, time to cure. And again. Low, mid, high. I think I will offer a full version of this on my YouTube, but... I'm probably going to cut this part out for any of the other ones, TikTok, Instagram, any of them. Because it takes forever. And let's see if they curl. They don't seem to be curling. Yay! got to be my favorite thing about the sticky mat and the graduated power of this lamp. I'll put a picture of the lamp in there somewhere. Do, 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 do. Or, there you go. My hand started hurting, so... I'm not holding it anymore other than keeping it steady. Make sure that is. It did go off a little bit on a couple spots. And. Oh, yeah. You see right there? Mm hmm. It didn't quite stay put there. How about the other side? Oh, it did on the other side, too. I didn't notice that before. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to. Give that a little bit of a thing. And this is the point where I use my cup because I don't just want to pour it on there when I'm fixing a spot. Okay. And this time is me just painting it on. I generally don't do that. Oh, I didn't push it down to make it stick. There we go. The 
these sticky um, silicone pads are really worth it to make sure that everything looks the way it should. Just feathering up because that will leave a bit of a mark on the surface. But if you feather it up, I'm going to end up doing a final coat once everything's all done and said. Done and said, said and done. I always use those things wrong. No, I regularly stop saying always, Becca. Okay, time to cure. And I'm quite aware that I'm not straight onto the camera, but with my mobility difficulties, this is just how it's got to be. I would love to do it differently, but no such luck. Okay, now is it the edge on this one too? Oh yeah, very much so, right there. Stick that down again. And paint the edge. What about this one? How is this one? No? It's not that bad. I'll do a little bit more on the edge anyways. And this is nothing compared to the edge doing I'm going to have to do later. Edge doing. Edge doing. Mm, edge doing. There we go. Zoom. And come on, focus. Why is that sliding? That's weird. It's not the camera or the thing that's sliding, it's my... View. And... There's this one. Okay, now that those are covered, I'm just going to zoom back out again. Oh, <laughs> I managed to get a fingerprint in there. That's no good. I'm not supposed to touch those while they're wet. Is it just me, or is that top edge? Uh, it is. Hmm. Okay. Well, now... We do glitter. So I don't know about you, but I love Ferrero Rochers, and that's what I store my glitters in. Now, since these are green and blue, maybe I should do a purple. And it's got enough blue tones in it. Eh. Not sure about that. I could do the pearl. I'm not really sure about that one either. I don't want to do straight white. What about silver? You know, silver might be the ticket. And I don't really want the dark color. That's a drip from an old project. Well, let's see here. This one has more hollow. That one's lighter. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I could do... That one's greener, isn't it? Yeah, it looks greener. Yep, okay, it's that one. And away they go. Oop. As I drop things. Okay. So, now I get 
to do my little grabber trick. Ugh, dropping things. I just can't not drop things today. And I also have to grab another one because I'm not resetting the entire thing because I have the dropsies. But this is what I do. It does mean that it isn't always quite to the end, but that doesn't seem to matter. Okay, so. Oh, what happened here? Oh no. Oh, I turned it on my overhead light and it has a full spectrum bulb, so I just cured my resin. Yep, that's exactly what happened. It's kind of gummy, that's cool. Not cool that I can't use it, but kind of cool in the texture. I'll just put a little bit more in there. I didn't really think you guys wanted to see the... Oh, missed a step. Gotta open the glitter back up. Okay. Do do do. Along the edge. Just the tiniest bit. I don't want a major edge coverage here. I want just a little bit. This is nail glitter, so it actually a little bit goes a long way. My favorite thing about it is watching it spread. I guess you guys can't see that that well over top of the other one. I used to just dip this stuff in, but I ended up making like a crust when I did that. And while it is dip glitter, and you're supposed to use it dip wise for nails, or buff it on with a sponge, which I have also done, that's not what I want to do right now. That's not the effect I'm going for. I'm going for a very light dusting. Oh, yeah, except that then I go really, really thick right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pretty. To cure that and work on the other one. Okay, and as you can see, I have a little bit of glitter fallout there, but I will use tape to remedy that situation.
we go. All right, that one's done being cured, so now to do the other side. Same process. Just a little. Like I've got it pretty much everywhere. What I'm doing with the side of my brush there is there's always a little bit of resin left in the bristles. And I'm way too Scottish to waste any of that. So, taking it off with rubbing it on the side. And that spot needs a tiny bit more. There we go. There, there's one side cured of that one, and it's time for the other side. If you do it right, one little bead will take you most of the way around the edge. There we go. You can do all of this with non-UV resin as well. Two-part epoxy versus UV epoxy. They both have their own pros and cons. I'm using UV right now because it's quick. And I can show you guys this process without a ton of waiting, setting up, taking down, etc, etc. Oh, it's so pretty! I quite often combine my projects because I hate waiting. Even though UV resin is quick, I still hate waiting. So, hmm, the inner of a divergence. It's not a picnic, but the kind of creativity I have with out-of-the-box thinking, I definitely consider that a positive. Okay, so this is going to get some hollow. It already glows in the dark, and now it is going to glitter too. And there we go. Missed some. Okay. And a tiny bit more if I didn't quite get to the edges. Bloop. Look at it spread. Okay, mm. I do want you to go all the way around. I think I just need more um, resin in there. 
thought I had enough, but apparently not. There we go. Oh yeah, that moves way better now. Okay. See, this is what I was talking about. This stuff kind of sucks up the moisture. It's on purpose. It's a good thing, but you have to learn how to work with it. Alright. Now that gets cured too. These are out. Okay. I am going to put the glitter or the lid on that glitter before I spill it because that's one of the things I do. Is I spill things. I tell my hands to do one thing, and they do something completely different. But that's okay. I've learned to work with it. I don't know if you saw what I did there. I, I wiped off the excess, but I also twisted my um, paintbrush while I was pulling it out. That keeps it at a basic point. And I will reuse this paintbrush over and over and over until at some point I make a mistake and leave it where it gets UV rays on it, and then it will get hard, and then I can't use it anymore. But until then, I will cover it in tin foil and leave it. I'm going to take that glitter off because I am going to make the rest of the design. And by design, I am referring to these. Oh, look at my freckles. Yay! So, these are what I am referring to. That's hand painted. This one wasn't as good. I did all of that. This is factory chain from something, I don't know what. And 